In this video, we'll graph the linear equation y equals 2x plus 4. And we'll do it two ways. First, we'll plug some values in for x here, figure out the corresponding y values, graph those. Then we'll check our work with the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b. So let's start by putting a 0 in for x. That's nice because we know it pretty much will show up on our graph. 2 times 0, that's 0. So we're left with 4 for y. We could go with 1. 2 times 1, that's 2, plus 4, so 2 plus 4 is 6. And then let's just put a negative 1. Negative 1, so that's 2 times minus 1, that's minus 2. Minus 2 plus 4 is 2. So these are the points that we'll graph. So we find 0 here on the x-axis, and we go up 1, 2, 3, 4. That's our first point. We have 1, 6, so we go over 1 on the x and up to 6 right there. And then we have negative 1, so we go over here, and we go up to 1, 2. And you can see that's the line there. Let's put a line right over it. And we could put arrows here on the end to show it goes to infinity. We could have chosen any numbers, but these are nice because they fit right on our graph. Now let's check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. And this b over here, this is the y-intercept. It's where the line will intercept the y-axis. And b is 4. So we go to the y-axis here, and we find 4 right there. Next, we want to look at the slope. So we can consider 2. Let's think of it as a fraction. It's still 2, but now it's 2 over 1. And with this, we can think of rise over run. So we go to our first point here. We rise 1, 2, and we run. We go across 1. We can go in this point here, rise 2, and go across 1. Likewise, we could go here and go down 2 and over 1 in the opposite direction. And we could keep doing this, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. And all of these points, they fall on the line y equals 2x plus 4. So we know we did this correctly. This is Dr. B graphing the linear equation y equals 2x plus 4. Thanks for watching.